We're going to start with the uh, punch bundles first. And so these are going to be sold together in that I won't sell a bundle separate from a stamp set or a stamp set separate from a bundle. So uh, this one here is the perfectly plaid with the little tree. Use this one an awful lot, especially with that plaid paper that we had. $25 for that one is a really good deal. And our sweet strawberry. So at the end, you could still get the punch, but you couldn't get the uh, stamp set. So that one's going as well. Above the clouds. I use this one a lot. And I do have a, if any, whoever purchases this one, just remind me because I have a, a class uh, all about this particular um, bundle. And I'll send you that class for free. So that one is above the clouds. I'll show you the stamps a little bit more. I really enjoyed the uh, font on this one and the words. And uh, who doesn't love balloons? Then our snowman season. So these little guys are irresistible and uh, they are really fun. I've It's been around for a little while and I think I got as much use as I want to out of that one, but you can punch it out. There was paper to match, which I no longer have, but I loved this guy here was my favorite. Then Christmas gleaning. So this is regular $85 and you can get it for 25. So beautiful, beautiful stamps that you can emboss, you can watercolor. I, I use this one a lot as well. And then the punches that will punch out. And you don't have to have the stamp in the background. You can just punch these with beautiful paper and uh, you have uh, some decorations. This is Floral Essence, and this is the, it's called a perennial flower that goes with it. And the, the, pun, the bundle includes the little centers that we had for the, uh, for the flower. So you, in here, any of these centers, actually, they were sort of uh, fuzzy little guys. So that bundle includes that. And it has some beautiful sayings, this one uh, as well. So that one... And you can see the it says that one is the punch right there. Then we have another punch bundle for flowers. And this one is the bunch of blossoms. Here you can see the um, items that will be cut out. And so you, this is really a two-step, almost like a four-step. You stamp, you stamp once, or you can create one leaf here with three stamps and then punch out the whole thing with this guy right here and then put together a flower. I have to say, I bought this mostly for the sayings and I use those sayings over and over and over again. So this one is a fantastic deal at $15, regular 46. And this one is our ice cream one, a really fun one. And this one comes with the sprinkles included in that price. So this is $30. I love, love, loved this one. I really enjoyed the, the sayings, the type of font that was on there too. Let me move those so you can see everything. So you can do a popsicle, you can do the ice cream. The, this one, you know, it would be great for kids to start playing with. A little bit older maybe to be able to use that punch, but they can make their own... Um, invitations to birthday parties or, uh, or birthday cards for their friends or things like that. This guy here is a punch bundle for the vibrant vases and it, whoops, I turned it upside down and the punch that goes with it has three vases and the leaf and the little tulip and this was the second one that came out, not the first one. So I sold the first one already, uh, but this one also coordinates with it. So you'll be able to use the punch and that together. Again, a great deal at $25 for both of them. The piece of cake, so 15 bucks for this guy, uh, regular 40, over 40, and all kinds of different cakes that you can make there for birthday, for weddings, for showers, things like that. Um, and that one is a great deal. Elegantly uh, said bundle, again, a super price on this one. And it's, um, I used this flower probably the most, but I really like this for a corner on something. So a little more fussy, a little bit more vintage 
MTG looking. Uh, I use this too, and it had beautiful paper that went with it. And I don't know, I do have some of that, this paper. It's in the under five box, box and great sayings. So, and I do have, um, whoever buys this one too, remind me because I will give you the, uh, the document, the piece of paper that I have that shows you all the different ways that you can use that punch. Uh, so here's another one of the tag toppers. This one is the delightful tag topper. And that was the uh, um, stamp set that went with it when it first came out. And uh, just lots of, you know, make nice little treats and little tags for everybody. All kinds of ways that you can use this. I loved this little thing right here, this little butterfly. That at least looks to me like a butterfly. So that one is a good deal too. Uh, actually, all of these bundles are a great deal. This one here is the original for You Label Me Pretty. I use this one a lot. I also used it from my kitchen to yours when I did some jam and uh, jellies and gave that to people, but the happy birthday. I use this one here a lot. I also use the You're the Best. So I really did use all of these ones, but you know, sometimes they just need to go to new homes. This one has been around many years. I've had this and I finally thought I'm going to part with it. So it is only $10 for the punch and the stamps. They are wood, um, but these are great for all different seasons. So you've got Christmas, well, the fall seasons, Christmas, uh, Halloween, you've got Valentine's, and then you've got Thanksgiving. And I just love this little punch, but uh, time for it to go. And then accented blooms. So this is the, the tailored tag punch, a really popular tag, but this is the bundle that it came with. And I did a, a video on this one where we made this look enameled, where we um, showed how to get some color and then build up that color so it's really shiny. And this fits perfectly. This is a great one for guys too, this one. Okay, now we're on to dye bundles. This one I've held on to for a long time. So on the dye bundles, they I have them just on the back side. So this was one of the very first ones we had with the really detailed. So great, great for weddings. And I use this one a lot. This was, this was the one I used the very first time when I came back into doing classes in 2016, the very first one that I used. Uh, Swirly Bird. So this guy is only 20 bucks and I loved the dies in this one. I love this, this, and this were my favorite. I use this one a lot. Uh, guy card just with this with gray on black and a happy birthday, I think it was, or something like that. So you could get a lot of use out of this one and you build up different things. So this is from, I would say 2017, 2018 perhaps. So you can see in those catalogs, lots of different ideas. The All Squared Away, I like this one. I really did like this one, and uh, but not not enough to keep it in my stash for, you know, when I retire and I'm no longer doing this. So it's on the, on the cutting block too. But I love these little squares. And uh, you can get pretty much all season there too, because I think you could do this probably for around Christmas or winter. And then you've got, you could easily turn these into spring colors, summer colors, and fall colors. So you can pretty much get all season out of this. And they look great when they're layered one on top of each other or if you have the stamp background. And great sayings on this one, really great sayings. This one has been around for a while and I just want to uh, get rid of this one. So $15 and this is the um, Eastern Medallions. Now, this one is great for making a sunflower. Uh, this is a really detailed one. That one's come out of the middle there. Uh, but this one is great and you can stamp. Uh, we I've done this one where I stamped it, turned it a quarter turn, stamped it again. So you get a really uh, built up flower out of that. So I really enjoyed using this one. These are great words. Um, you would too. Sailing home. So this guy here is great for anybody who lives close to the ocean and has a lighthouse or just for the guys. Um, and, and maybe not just for the guys, but it could be good for thinking of you or a sympathy card as well. And I'll show you the dies here. So there's the dies. I did a class, um, I think my One Sheet Wonder class. Uh, this was an alternate. I showed how to use this one. Was it an alternate or was it the original? It might have been the original, uh, but lots of great use for this one. I really like that uh, seaweed. This is the many messages. Now what I did with this one, there's two stamp sets here 
and it only came out with one, but there's two stamp sets and the die itself, because I thought it would just probably be a good idea to put them all together. Now with this one in particular, let me just bring it over here and open it up. Ooh, sorry. Um, there are all kinds where I already have the saying stamped for you. And this one, I have the big one. So look at all of those. Those ones are blank. This one shows you what all the different sizes are. So if you want to put it over another stamp set that you have, this would also be great with any of the itty bitty stamps. So there's that one. That's the, the first one that it came out with in the actual bundle. And then they came out with the second one. And the second one, it's um, some of the words are just a little bit bigger. So there is, you would have all kinds of sayings for so many different events. Um, so that one is a complete, complete bundle, sort of a built up bundle of three items. So a wish for everything. So this is the one that has all of the great words. So these are, there's Thanksgiving, Valentine's, Happy New Year's, Merry Christmas, St. Patty's Day. There's, uh, there's a bunch of different ones in here for the words and words dies are always so, so popular. And then you have an inside and an outside verse if you want. So there's Easter in here. Any of the major occasions where we tend to get together with family and friends and have a turkey or a ham or, or something sort of major, you can pretty much get there. Although Halloween, we probably don't do that for Halloween, but we do get a lot of goodies. The parcels and petals. Um, I was a little disappointed how how unwelcome uh, this particular one was. I loved this set and I used it a lot. I turned these into um, um, poinsettias. So we had them for Christmas with a little, well, I used the a little something. But why it's called parcels and petals is that it has, oh, I don't have it showing. It has a, um, a box that you can make with the dies. Let me just get them out here. So these guys are great. Oh, they're stuck. These guys are great, especially this one right here. And there's a cute little, well, there's two cute little tags there. But what people didn't see a lot of is that this, you, you cut it out two times and it makes a little box that folds together. It was a little bit of a challenge to do the first time. Once you get the hang of it, it is great. And then you've got this uh, for a tag top. It really is great. And I what have I got it priced at here? Um, $30. So that actually is a great deal for that bundle because it was regular $89. So uh, if you like little trinkets or little boxes, that's, that's the one you want. Counting sheep. So this was in celebration last year and I have the stamp set and I have the dies. So you can turn it into a birthday uh, sheep. You can have them going over the fence, counting sheep. So that one is great. And then that one is 25. And then the little ladybug. This was so, so popular. And I do have, this is brand new. It's never been used. And I have the dies that go along with it. And they were a little bit more difficult to get. But uh, that is a great great, great bundle. I've kept my other one. Beautiful promenade. So this one's more uh, sympathy probably or thinking of you. $20 for this one. It has fabulous dies in it. It has uh, this guy here is the inside of an envelope. And then there's ones that this will cut out the top of a tag. This is a cool cutout to go behind a label or something like that. And I use that leaf a fair bit too. So uh, that is a fun one that I think you would enjoy. Garden wishes. I hummed and I hawed and hummed and hawed about this one, whether I should let it go. And I decided I would. I love, love this stamp set right here. I like all of the words, but in particular, I really liked the dies. This die right here, that one I used an awful lot. These little guys, I always thought I would use them. They're dandelion leaves, but I always thought I would use them as a whimsical Christmas tree, and I never did. So there's maybe an idea for somebody who picks this up. And then this flower, uh, you layer these ones on top, makes a great flower too. So that one is going down the road as well painted glass. So this one has been around a little while and it's a great deal at 20, regular 62. And these are, it's like stained glass. And I did a really pretty car. I thought it was a pretty card uh, using this one and these ones here. So, and that's, this is from a couple of years ago. I would say maybe 2018, 2019 for that one. And lots of great, really bold sayings. 
Lovely little pad, lily pad. So here's the bundle. I had the stamp set over there and this bundle is only 35. So it's a great deal and this is new. It's never been used and that's a photopolymer one. To a wild rose, use this one over and over and over again. If you have this one in your stash, you know that it is a great one for two-step stamping, but even just for coloring in this rose on its own and the leaves and great words. And this one's only 30, but here are the dies that go with it. I use that label a lot. Uh, that was, it's a great size. So this one is a stitched label. And then there's some detailed dies that make great embellishments for uh, coming outside of the label and decorating it. A range wreath. I was really sad that this only saw one season. I use this an awful lot, uh, especially for the wreath. I'm a wreath gal. Uh, but you have so many different options. Again, it's an all occasion for those occasions where you tend to get together and have a meal with your family and your friends. So we've got, you can see my runners down there. Uh, <laughs> Happy Easter, best wishes just for a birthday. You got Valentine's, Thanksgiving, and of course, Christmas. And here is, there's two dies for a wreath in here. So there's this one that has more, I don't know, what, what kind of, I don't even know what, <laughs> they're a different kind of leaf, that's all I'm going to call it. And then there's your leaves here. And you're, you've got flowers, you've got the uh, framelit, the shapes to go with a lot of the stamp sets. You've got a love uh, heart there. So, and then a, a bow that you can put on the, the wreath as well. So this one is 48. This guy here, I did hum and haw about this one too. This is lots of hearts. So this was from two occasions catalogs or two January to June catalogs, I guess. I love the gingham one. I use this one a lot. We did a lot of, I think I did a class with this guy too. And these are the dies. There's a lot of dies in here. This die in particular is my one of my favorites. This one too was one of my favorites. But they nest together and this one here is quite decorative. And I love this guy. So yeah, if this one is still on the table at the end, I think I'm going to take it back. Uh, this one is Pretty Pumpkins. I loved this one too. So most of the things that I purchase, I buy because I really, really do like them. Um, and I just know that if I kept them, I would just have uh, cupboards and cupboards and cupboards of stuff. So this is uh, this one time to go to. But I did a Case the Catalog with this Case the Caddy with these ones. I love the Gather Together. So thankful for you. The pumpkins are great to color or with your blends. This guy here is probably why I bought the, uh, the dies to begin with. Uh, but this one's sort of fun too. So if you like fall, if you like pumpkins, that's the one for you. Love of leaves. I'm sad to see this one go too. So lots of great sayings here. A very simple font on this one. Not a lot of, uh, not really fancy at all. But the uh, that sort of distinctive type, you have your darker and your lighter shading on the leaves. And all of the leaves have uh, a a cut out so these all have I'll pull that up so you can see it they all have stitching on the outside and then they have individual stitching for the inside so they create the detail on the leaf and this one here is great for going along the bottom of your card so this one is really pretty but what it also does sorry I should say when they're stitching around here you get that outline on the, if you cut out a piece of cardstock, you get this cut out of it, but you get the stitching left behind. So you actually have some things that you can do with the negative. So many things. This one here, I really enjoyed, and I gave these away for new home, for people who are moving into new homes. There's a lot here. You've got every season covered. You've got wreaths that you can put on the door. You've got flowers and pumpkins, Christmas, and uh, here's the dies that go along with it. So it actually creates a door where the door opens. So you get the frame of the door and then you get a score line down here where you actually can open the door. So it's an interactive card and there's your, your uh, wreaths. Here's another wreath. So this is the tidings all around. And this is, I have a stamp set in this one as well, just by itself. But these are the dies. And I use these dies. And I think I did 15 different wreath designs with this particular set. And it is 
great. This one is new. It's not, uh, I'm not selling the one that I have. I'm keeping it, but this one is new. And I think that you would, if you love wreath, you will really, really, really enjoy this one. So that was one of, one of my favorites. This is Frosted Gingerbread. So this was from last year. Nice, big, bold images. Um, maybe not something that everybody would love, but uh, some really pretty designs. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there was paper to go with it, six by six. And I do have some of that paper for sale as well. This guy here was encircled in warmth. So what I did with this one, this was in the holiday catalog last year. Great sayings. I used all of these sayings uh, for a stamping staycation. Actually, we use this saying uh, to create a set of cards. And then there are different encircled in beauty dies that go along with it. So there's ones that will cut out the shape. You can see the shape here. This one is the detailed, another detailed, and then there's another paper, another page of circles. So <clears throat> if you like circles, <clears throat> excuse me, decorative circles, they're your, they're the one you want. And this guy here, I love this one. Um, this is the tree angle, the Christmas uh, tree angle. And I use this one a fair bit. I used it to a, for a step it up card to show how you could do really simple how you could do a uh, step it up and make more of a, a medium or a casual card or one that was really over the top. And these are the dies that I've matched with it. So these are the stitched triangles and they are fabulous. I didn't use these nearly as much as I should have. Um, I probably should be keeping them too, but I'm not. So I did make a card with them where they were the cutouts on the front of the card, the the triangles. They're just so fun to use. And there's so many different sizes that you can play around with there. So there you get a Christmas one and the triangles. This is another wreath one. This is retired from last year. This is Sparkle of the Season. I loved this one. This is great too. For I love, I really, really do like the ones that have fall and Christmas. And if they have Valentine's in there, even better. This one doesn't. Um, but that wreath, and then there are some wreaths to cut out. There was one for Halloween. There was one for fall, which is that one. And then there's another one in here that is for Christmas as well. I, that little uh, broomstick is great if you love Halloween and you like celebrating and a little bat in there. So something for every season in the fall for that one. Then we have Merry Snowflakes. So this one was a great one from last year too. Here's all the snowflakes, the stitched snowflakes, which are really, really pretty. And uh, this guy here is will just cut out your paper. It uh, cut into your paper rather, not cut out your paper. All different ones there though. And they of course coordinate with these guys here. I love little swashes always. If there's a swash, I'm all over it. Season's Greetings is a nice big one and Merry Everything. So that one's a, a great one. Time of Giving. This one as well. I didn't use this one as much as I thought I was going to. And I think it's just because I had too many other great things. So there's leaves and um, um, Har a wheat in there for harvest. You got snowflakes. So you're again, you're going through all of the seasons. These are just dots. These are the dies that go with it. So they're great for tags. So this makes uh, Santa and his uh, three of his reindeer. This just does a cutout of the snowflake. This one I love, love, love. And I, I did one where I did some watercolor, really vibrant orange watercolors in behind. And I never, ever did anything with it. And I really should have. In fact, I've kept it and I am going to do something with it. But um, I really enjoyed these again. And there's some leaves, falling leaves. And then these, this goes around the stamp set. So that one is a great set. And then the last... Uh, set that I have, the last bundle, is the Merry Christmas to All. And this one here uh, is from a couple years ago, but it has words. So I love these words. And there's those swashes again. But it has Merry Christmas, Happy and Holidays, and a couple of the the labels as well. So we did a um, we did a 3D with this one where we created a scene like uh, evergreens and did Happy Holidays on it. And so you maybe you can see down here. Uh, I put in some of my extra Happy Holidays um, in gold in there. And um, in all of these, you're going to find lots of other things included with the stamp set too, where I have. Uh, stamped it and cut it, but just not used it on a card. 